We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Good afternoon and happy Sunday. I'm Barbara Perkins and welcome to Sisters at the Well Radio, a conversation with women about women. We are so excited today to be here. This is our first show here at our new home. Yay! (laughs) And I'm just so delighted to be here today with you and have you join us on Facebook or streaming live. Thank you for being here with us. I'm in studio today with a really dear friend, Dwan Smith Fortier, who's an amazing actress, (laughs) director, producer. Oh my goodness, Dwan, songstress, poet. All those things to keep the stream of income flowing. (laughs) And then, of course, the most important piece, she is an incredible mommy and grandmother and wife uh, to a beautiful family that I've had the pleasure of knowing for many years now since I've been in Los Angeles. Thank you, Dwan, for being here as one of my co-hosts. Well, thank you for inviting me. I'm just excited about the prospect. And, And we all say, anyone who knows Barbara Perkins, if Barbara calls... We don't ask why, we just come. (laughs) We know it's going to be fantastic. Well, thank you for the confidence, and I'm so glad you're here. And then also sitting next to Dwan is Linda Morgan, our jazz historian. Hello. (laughs) Hello, she says, hello. I don't know, Linda, what voice was that? Your sexy voice, your jazz voice? That's my jazz voice. Okay, well, we're so happy you're here today. Linda is also one of the co-hosts. She's going to be coming to you the second or third Sunday uh, right here at Sisters at the Well Radio and bringing you lots of wonderful um, information about jazz and women in jazz. And I think we're going to do some live work. We're going to have music, jam sessions, all kinds of good stuff. (laughs) We are just ready and excited about our new home. So what is Sisters at the Well? Sisters at the Well is a conversation. Now, how many of you have watched The View? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so The View on radio. Uh-huh. That's what this is. We are sitting around the table. This is the metaphoric well. This is where the work gets done. You know, as a little girl growing up in the Bahamas, um, we had to go and get our water every morning. So I had to walk about a mile from my house to the well. Mm-hmm. So on the way to the well, the girls gathered, we talked, we, you know, we got there, we learned how to gossip, (laughs) you know, we learned about styles, we learned about other people's business. (laughs) I mean, we didn't, when I was growing up, we didn't have a television in the home. So we had to have ways of entertaining ourselves. So we'd get to the well. And then of course the older women would say, okay, girls, shh, listen and learn. Right. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going right. to listen. We're going to learn. We're going to listen to you, the audience. We want, this, is, this is our conversation. So starting out, I want to talk to Dwan a little bit about, as one of the co-hosts, there's four of us, actually. Shantika Jorna is not here with us today. But we have a fourth chair down the way that she's going to join us. Um, and from time to time, every Sunday right here at LA Talk Live, we're going to be sitting around this table talking about what's current, what's hot, <laughs> what's not <laughs> all that good stuff and so Dawn, I want you to talk a little bit about what your focus is going to be on well I'm excited to be here because what's hot is all of us who are having careers that are being revived so yeah. we're hot again and I we're love coming- it <laughs> <laughs> so that's what um, uh, some of my fans may know you may not know I starred in a film called Sparkle just and a little play, old film just that a they little play film. every single year. <laughs> All Black History Month, they wear Sparkle out. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I look forward to those $2 in residuals. <laughs> <laughs> but they did a remake of Sparkle, which was absolutely fantastic. And as a result of the remake, that focus, that put the focus on those of us who starred in the original all over again. 
So I praise God for that yeah. spotlight. So a lot of my focus when I uh, on on the times that I am co-hosting will be about how women of faith go through mm-hmm. these crises, which test our faith. Because in the times when we're not hot, or at least not public hot, <laughs> <laughs> what does that we mean? Are still, Let's go there. <laughs> okay, when you're not when you're not currently on the A list or the B list, okay. you're down to the X, Y, and Z list. <laughs> Well, you're still on the M list, which is mommy list. You're still on the W list, which is wife list. You're still on the C list, which is community list. So you are still on on the F list, and that's trying to make the finances flow. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. in those times that you're not as public as other times, you still have to make your life work. Yes. And you still have to go through those spaces which test your faith Mm -hmm. and test the ability to make your life work. And so that's what the overall theme of the shows that um, that I'll be doing is is exploring the crises which yeah. test our faith. Oh, I love that. And the first one, of course, is going to be about how do women of faith sustain a career in this youth oriented society? Oh, I'm loving that. I mean, how do you <laughs> get back in there again? How do you remarket yourself? How do yeah. you rebrand or brand yourself? Because these are terms, branding, and things that have just come along that we didn't really know about 30 years ago when we started yeah. our careers. But you were a brand, Dwan. How many commercials did you have? Uh, the first year I started in the business, I did 13 commercials in a row. Wow. And so I've done someplace between 75 and 100 commercials between the commercials, the print work, the um, radio spots and stuff during my career. And when I started doing commercials, they were not, they didn't consider you as an actress. You were just doing uh, commercials. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, so it was well, kind of like the would love to have a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because they pay yeah. a lot of money now. They do. Did you get paid well back then? I I got paid well enough to um to call myself an actress. I bought a couple of homes. I bought a car. I was able to do that. Not that I knew how to ma- manage all that, but I did. <laughs> and I also, more importantly, I found out later on in life, uh, Eve Arden told me on, on a set we were doing, she said, just think about it. You're paying into your pension and welfare for later on. Mm. It is now later on. Got it. Is and it paying I, off for you? I, I have my pension. I get my pension, which Judy Pace told me. Judy said, are you going to get your pension? Yes, I can get my pension. She said, yes. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and off I tried it down to after and saying to get my. And that's that was yeah. a tremendous validation of the fact that even though you might know not know my name the minute I walk in the room, you know my face maybe, it was a validation of the fact that I had done something and had a career, which really meant it was a career because I got a pension from it. You have to be in the, the union at least 25 years and make a certain amount of money mm-hmm. before you can to collect be at that level. pension. And I had okay. done it, and I praise God for that. Isn't that amazing? Well, yeah. kudos to you. <laughs> well, one one last thing about Dwan, and I'm going to switch over to Linda a little bit. I was so proud to call you my friend the night of the opening for Sparkle, the remake last year. Wow. Seeing this diva on the red carpet, I was like, stop the noise. You have to <laughs> see. I'm going to just tell him she is a senior citizen. Oh, yes. I I'm am. not giving your age. It's all right. I'm in my 60s. It doesn't matter. And this diva looked, first of all, the heels were about this tall. They're they were called, about, there were three flights. <laughs> Bejewel stilts. <laughs> That's what I call them. <laughs> she looks, you look so amazing. Thank and it was you. wonderful to see those actresses getting their just due. You know, it, I was really pleased to I see you I have to there. thank, I have to thank Linda Stokes for pulling it all together. She's she's Linda Stokes LSO Designs. She's been my designer and stylist and supporter all these years from Mrs. California. I was Mrs. California, uh, 1985, first runner for Mrs. America. She made all my swimming suits and the gowns and stuff. And so she pulled all the waistline in, makes you that. And then... <laughs> The thing was to be there with Tyler Perry, and Tyler actually knew who I was. Yeah. That was amazing. It was like a fairy tale come true. 
he still hasn't given me a job. Hello, Tyler. I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> but to have that happen was one, I have to say, was one of the happiest times in my whole career. And I thank you for acknowledging that. I do. That's what sisters are for. That's what we do here at the well. At the well, these conversations. Yeah. So now, Miss Linda Morgan, let's talk about women in jazz and what we can expect from you. Well, coming from uh, during our four years of honoring jazz and blues legends, um, we're going to okay. so I wanted to put an emphasis on women in jazz, sisters, actually Sisters for Jazz is going to be the title of our show. And it will be focusing on the sisters that are doing business, singing, vocalists, mentorship, all those things in jazz. Okay. So it's strictly about women in jazz. Sisters so are you jazz. going to bring young women into this? Because jazz seemed to be, and I'm not going to use the words that I've heard people refer to jazz as, something about going away. Because I don't believe that, so I'm not going to speak that into the universe. But are you going to be including young women in this conversation about jazz? Absolutely. Up and coming new vocalists, new artists that are breaking out their new jazz music, uh, mentees that are trying to get into the jazz arena. Yeah, we'll have an eclectic view of Sisters for Jazz. I love it. So... Tell us what you're doing personally. Um, tell me a little bit about your foundation. It's called the Living Legends Foundation. Yes, tell me ma'am. what that is. Well, the Living Legends Foundation, we're in our fourth year. We will be honoring Les McCann, Daniel Jackson, and Bobby Hurricane Spencer on August the 22nd. Okay. That's on a Thursday at the Barbara Morrison Performing Arts Center. Okay. 6 p.m. So we'd love to have the audience to come in. You can find us on Facebook. At okay. Facebook.com, Living Legend Foundation. I love it. Has it. all the information about our show. Of course, and you talked about Barbara Morrison, one of my favorite people. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's an amazing woman. Can you get her in this studio one day? Oh, absolutely. She's on tour right now in Germany. Hey, Barbara. I know you're out there. Hey, Barbara. I hope you're listening to us here on <laughs> yeah. LA Talk Live in Germany. Yes. yes. So as soon as she comes back, each show will feature one of the legends in which I'm honored. So our first show, we'll have Gilda Haygood on there, who is a music historian, works out at WLCAC, um, and she's been an incredible historian in terms of jazz history. Okay. And we'll have two vocalists, Miss Loretta Shelby. Oh, I love her. And Miss Rita Edmonds. Okay. Two great young sisters in jazz. Okay. Local and being spotlighted around town. Yes. I've, I've seen a couple of their shows, so I'm sure you had something to do with that, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. (laughs) So this is us here. We are just happy to be, Dwan, what do you think of our new place, our new home? Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the eye candy in front of me, engineering. Okay. Okay. All right, stop it. (laughs) Stop it. Don't go there. Well, I had to say. (laughs) Look at, he's blushing. He's even getting Are you talking about Richard? Yes, I am. Hi, Richard. Richard. (laughs) So that's better, and I love the setup. I love the whole thing, and I love the colors and the space. And yeah. I'm looking forward to being able to. It's interesting that you mentioned the women in jazz because last night we had the pleasure of uh, going to see Dee Dee McNeil, yes. who was at home, H-O-M-E in Beverly yeah. Hills, the yeah. club in Beverly Hills, Hills. And so her show was, of course, incredible. She is an amazing. Yes, yeah. she is. So uh, we went to see her show, and she's coming out with her new CD. So this re, I just love this point in our yeah. lives where we're yeah. reinventing, you know, re, re-emerging. And it's like we spent years woodshedding. Okay. You know, that's the term the musicians use, woodshedding, just working rehearsing, the craft. Mm-hmm. working and practicing. So I'm, I'm excited about being able to uh, talk like, and you, Miss Barbara, come on, let's talk about you. I'll, I'll be happy to talk about me any day, <laughs> any day, any day, <laughs> loving who I am yes. and loving Sisters at the Well. This is, when I started Sisters at the Well, do you know this is the 10th year? Can you believe it's been 10 and years? And you guys have been with me for 10 yes. years. You've been my roadie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the this first. is the 10th year. And I'm just, I'm excited about um, what's ahead. But mm-hmm. I'm also excited about the accomplishment because when we started this, two things I had in mind. One, I was fairly new to California, and I really just wanted to be in the company of 
good sisters, Mm -hmm. you know? So I was longing for that feeling that I had as a little girl being at the well where we gathered every morning and we checked in with each other and we knew how each other was doing and we supported everything that you were doing. And I really wanted to dispel the myth that black women don't like to be together. That's not true. That's a lie. Really? (laughs) And I wasn't feeding into that. So Mm -hmm. I said, okay, fine. Then we'll just get together under this title called Sisters at the Well. Mm -hmm. We'll create a well for ourselves wherever we are. Of course, you know, it's got to be around food and a (laughs) glass of champagne, although there's water in this cup. (laughs) But usually, usually it's around, you know, a meal where we can sit down and share and just really love up on each other. And that was the idea behind Sisters at the Well. And I'm really, really grateful to say that because I know that I've been faithful Mm -hmm. in this cause, that we've maintained this and sustained it for 10 years. I'm proud of what you've done because when you started out, you were everything. You were the writer of the show, you Mm -hmm. were the producer, you were the set designer, you were everything. And then as you've gone on, you've branched out and pulled other people in, which is what it's important to do. And yeah. people don't always, they want to just be, it's all about me. It's me, me, me. But you did not. You have made a circle. When you say sisters at the well, I remembered, Linda, did you go with us? She had us come to the, <laughs> she had us come to a meeting and told us to just put a little money aside. She had reserved these limos. Ten. <laughs> Ten. And we went up the coast to yeah. Santa Barbara to Rideau Winery, to, which is owned by a black woman, a black. And yeah. did we have a ball? Yeah, we had. I don't know. I don't remember the drive because we it were was sipping 48. her champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was 48 <laughs> sisters. We had 10 stretch white limousines. Yes, we did. And we took the long way up the coast. <laughs> and drove up to Santa Barbara. We got there in what about two and a half hours <laughs> after two potty breaks. We um, yeah we had yeah yeah lots of champagne flowing. <laughs> I was just supposed to say that. <laughs> and we stopped at one point. We stopped maybe halfway up and went up a hill, and we all just took it in. It was a beautiful day, yes. California day. We took yes. in the scenery. We prayed together, yes. and we thank God that 48 of us could be together and really have a good time. Yes. Then we arrived at the winery oh. and Iris Rideau had this thing so laid out for us. We stayed there for about three hours. We ate, mm-hmm. we did our wine tasting, and then we bought all the wine we could buy. The <laughs> trunks were full. <laughs> and you were full. <laughs> we were full. The trunks were full. The poor limo driver had the pack up bottles of wine in the passenger side of his limo, each one of them. And we all joined the wine club that she yeah. had. And we've supported her all of yes. these years. And in keeping yeah. with the way you format things, she had a full show at, after we got to the winery. There was yeah. a full formatted show that yeah. day as well. It wasn't just a trip and a sip. Yeah, we showcased, it, it showcased sure. sisters who did poetry. Yes, We had a couple people who sang. Then we had people who stood up and gave their testimonies. And of course, by the end of three hours, all of us gave a testimony. And they were were all kind of like this right at the time. (laughs) Of course, on the way back, it was a little quiet on the way back. We had to get ourselves together. No, because we were snoring. Let's be honest. We were all but we did have a good time. And that's really what this is about. about it's about yes. the balance of life. It's about how um, women, black women in particular, have a special affinity for each other. And no matter what the world says, uh, we know the story of who we are. Yes. And we look yes. back at those sheroes who did a lot so that we can have a lot. And now it's our turn. And so here we are at the well talking about those things that we can do to make life better for the next generation. Because it, oh, the poet you. said, a people without a knowledge of their history is like a tree without roots. Yeah. So we are rooted here. Here we are, right here at yeah. the well. Yeah. We're gonna take a little break. 
And then we're going to come back and talk just a little more. And then part of the show, we're going to invite another bad sister in from Detroit (laughs) who's going to talk about some of the things that she's doing. We'll see you in just a moment right here, LA Talk Live. surely come Just you keep on holding on Every day will be much sweeter than the day before All you have to do is keep on holding on We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and hosts of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Every day will be much sweeter than the day before. All you have to do is keep on Hi, I'm Ro Williams, and I would like to invite you to join GospelRhythms.com live every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our new show, Gospel Rhythms Talk Live. Join us as we celebrate, promote, and elevate Christians and Christians in entertainment. So don't forget to tune in to Gospel Rhythms Talk Live exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio under R&B or watch us on Ustream.tv. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is Gospel Rhythms on L.A. Talk Live, where we don't just talk about it, we are about it. Hi, this is Jean Noel Bassior, inviting you to join me for my new show, The Book Beat, Monday evenings at 6.30 p.m., I'll be talking to authors about their latest book so you can find a fantastic read. But more than that, I'll be talking to experts about how you can write your own book and get it published. So tune in on Mondays at 6.30 p.m. exclusively on latalklive.com. And remember, you can catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is L.A. Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is Susan Levin, owner and founder of Speaker Services, inviting you to join me and co-host Jean Noel Bassiar on Monday evenings, 5 p.m. Pacific, for our new show, Talk Up Your Business, Speak Your Way to More Profits. We'll be talking to you about how to use your expertise to grow your business or service through speaking. Our expert speakers and author guests will share their stories and success secrets with you. Don't forget to tune in to Talk Up Your Business Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific, exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream.tv. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hi there. Welcome back to Sisters at the Well Radio, a conversation with women about women. I'm Barbara Perkins and I'm your lead host. And I'm here in the studio, our kickoff show at our new home here, LA Talk Live. And I'm here with my co-host, Linda Morgan, 
who is the lady of jazz in the house. And I'm here with actress Juan Smith Fortier, who is our special diva today. <laughs> yeah, every, we're going to take turns with that, you know, because we all are divas. You know that, right? That's right. That's right. So we're going to have to take turns with the special diva chair. <laughs> right? Juan, today you're it. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to fill the spot. Oh, she loves so it. So think of, <laughs> think of this conversation as just, you know, sister sitting around the, the coffee table, of course, with our coffee mugs. Mm -hmm. We have water today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're just really talking about some of the things that's important to us. And one of the things we just got through talking about was the importance of us as seasoned women yes. to transfer our life lessons to this generation and the generation to come mm -hmm. because so much of what was transferred to us that we're now benefiting from came because women who like Dorothy Height, you mm -hmm. know, Lois, your mom, I'd love to add her in there because I use so many of her sayings. I know. Kathleen <laughs> Marshall and Rosa Parks, of course, we yes. know, and some of the women um, that are still doing the work, we know it wasn't easy for them but they did it in spite of, they did it even through challenges that we can't even imagine. They didn't have the internet, they didn't have social media, they didn't have the computers like we do. I mean, just getting the word out. Mm. So when we talk about the well, it was at the well, those metaphoric wells that women got together and met and talked and planned and anchored our communities. So that's what we're doing here today in another way. You know, we're doing it in another way. And so today, um, now in the second half of the show, I want to introduce our guest to Lois Buckman, a retired executive <laughs> from Verizon, formerly known as GTE and now Verizon. Um, many, many years, what, 30, how many years, Lois, you worked for um, GTE? 37. 37 years wow. in the corporate world. Retired. We met just before Lois retired from Verizon, yes. and um, is doing an incredible work with an organization called the Regalettes Inc. And Lois mm -hmm. is here today to talk a little bit about the work that they're doing. And I, I would say we, but I'm going to say they're doing the Regalettes um, within the community and how that work got started. Lois, welcome. Thank you. This is amazing. I think this is uh, long overdue, and I think that uh, this is long overdue, and we really need this opportunity to share information, and this is a well in itself, in yeah. that we can come together at this well at this time and talk about the various things that we're doing uh, in our community and things that we're doing for each other. So Regalettes, uh, the people probably are saying, Regalettes, what's the Regalettes? <laughs> Well, it is a little dated <laughs> because the organization is 55 years old. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this year we are celebrating, that's right, celebrating 55 years of community service. Mm -hmm. And it's a very small organization. It was founded by uh, the late Gertrude Gibson Penland, which yes. is a staple in the Los Angeles community. Uh, she worked as the entertainment editor for the Los Angeles Sentinel uh, for many years, and she also worked for KJLH, and she was a journalist in her own right, received several awards. It was her uh, vision and her dream that developed this organization of women, and uh, it has lasted for 55, 55 years. 55 years. Wow. Yeah, so when I heard you say that, you know, it appears that we can't love each other and be together, well, that's, this is an example that we can. I didn't say it was easy. I'm just saying, because, you know, everybody, everybody a diva in the room is a little tough. But I'm in training. <laughs> but it does mean that we can work through all of the things uh, that we may have, differences that we may have, opinions. And there are women with strong opinions, which is very important, mm -hmm. as well as all the ones that bring other things to the table. So the organization has been there for 55 years, and uh, we have done, it's a civic, uh, it's an organization of women, African-American women, 
and uh, we come together to do things for our community and to give uh, scholarships to our students, uh, our youth in our community. Uh, we've given a, um, a half a million dollars in scholarships wow. Uh, wow. to our, wow. our young African-American students. And we're just so pleased. And all of our students have done a remarkable job. And I'm really pleased to say that we have a 95% graduation rate wow. uh, with all mm -hmm. the students that we do things with. We're also very community oriented. We do a um, toy giveaway every year in combination with uh, uh, Council District 8 to uh, support us. And we gave out 4,000 toys last year. Wow. Um, yeah in the community, in the Crenshaw area. And uh, that was very emotional for me because when I got to the site uh, after working, trying to get all these toys together, and I saw the block was uh, completely circled with people that had been waiting in line. Uh, the, it had started at 10 a.m. and they were there at four in the morning. Wow. Uh, it was just a humbling uh, moment uh, to see all the young children that said this is the only toy they're going to get. So right. as a result, we didn't know we were going to get so many, so I had to go back to the toy <laughs> store and go buy some more toys because there was no way I could look in a child's face and not give them a toy after they had stand, stood in line. So those are some of the things that we do, and uh, we certainly give things at Thanksgiving to needy families. And also we're very involved in the social circle in that we have uh, our young women, we want them to know what it means to go to social events events how do you and be exposed to those so opportunities etiquette. so you absolutely teach etiquette. and mentoring uh, because we think it's uh, it's very very important in the process Gertrude herself was a diva I, if you talk mm -hmm. about super super divas yes. she's got to be number one <laughs> yes. super diva anybody that knows her yes. And uh, she and 11 other women that started the Regalettes uh, they had social events. Yeah, and they had they were African American women that were doing things that during that time that was unheard of. I mean, they were had a, a garden party. Our first garden party actually was at the Ambassador Hotel, which at that time you couldn't even sleep there. Right. So, so they were able to get events there and have key uh, artists, um, yeah. Sammy Davis Jr., Nancy Wilson, people like that that actually attend the event. They had a yacht party. Uh, where they actually had a yacht that was donated to them and they gave an event uh, on the yacht. So these were women that were out of the box thinkers. They were not yeah. afraid uh, to do things that were different. Mm -hmm. And they invited other women to come in and join them. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, although you're having fun, there's no more blessing than you have to give back. So this so, was this was then mm -hmm. a party with a purpose. A party with a purpose. <laughs> so this was this was your this was your socialites partying, but always had a purpose. One of the things I want mm -hmm. you we talked about earlier was that the students mm -hmm. over a half a million dollars of scholarship funds given out to yes. local students. What I really like about it is most of those students are C students when they come in the majority of them, and the support of the Regalettes. So, you know, because an A student will always get that opportunity, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. they're competing on, a, mm -hmm. on that level. Mm -hmm. But for when an organization would take a look at a student who may not be that 4.0 student, but that 2.5, mm -hmm. that 3.0 student, and say to them, you matter also. also. And we want to support you from the beginning to the end. Talk about some of the students that have come through the organization and what they're doing now. Oh, great. Uh, yes, we do. Although we do have some students with high academics and grades, we always leave room to support that student that's kind of on the edge and, and the ones that are on the fence. So you're right. And we've uh, actually uh, supported students from co continuation school. Yeah, uh, we had uh, a, a young man in particular. I remember uh, he was in continuation school, really on his way out, uh, out of the system completely. And uh, we were able to pull him back, and uh, he worked real hard. And uh, to make a long story short, he received his degree from U UCLA. Wow. And uh, the thing that I like what our organization do is we support our young people every year. 
-hmm. So if, if we, if you come in as a scholarship recipient for the Regalettes, we will continue to support you every single year, as long as you stay in school, and as long as you still continuing to achieve your, you know, thrive for your goals, we will do that. We have supported students through their master's degrees and also even some to their PhDs. So it's not, we found that when you just give somebody something for one year, guess what? They need the same thing the second right. year. That's right. So, That's you know, right. so why let them go? So we wanted them to know that we were there with them all the way. And if they have trouble along the way, they contact us. We help them out with other other adventures they have. They go overseas. We've had young people that they've gone to Africa and they've asked us to help them. And we've supported them. So I think this is a, a very generous way and benevolent way that we can also continue to inspire our students. How do, how do the students get to you to apply for a scholarship? What is, the, is their process for that? Oh, uh, great, great question. Boy, <laughs> no, she is a diva. Right <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> anyway, love uh, they apply online. Uh, okay. Our website is www.regalettes, and let me spell it, R-E-G-A-L-E-T-T-E-S dot org. Okay, again? R-E-G-A-L-E-T-T-E-S, Regalettes. Just kind of, you remember the Marvelettes and the Ronettes and the oh, Reds yeah. years ago? Yeah, we're going back 55 yeah, years. Yeah, well, they were divas too. <laughs> See, that was, at the time, that's what that it that's came it into came from, you know? Yes. So if you think of Regal and then put the Ed's at it, that's, <laughs> that's where we are. Oh, but if you go it. to our website, it does have um, our scholarship application uh, on there, and it has all the information as to what a student can do to apply for a scholarship for the Regalettes. Uh, so, so let's talk about mm -hmm. how you raise the money for these scholarships, mm -hmm. because we want to lead into this event that's coming up yeah. August 24th. So tell us how, what's your main um, way of raising funds for your students? The main way of r raising the funds is begging, begging, begging. <laughs> <laughs> Stop begging enough. You have to beg, you know. And because you know, there's lots of organization all right. trying to go through the same, uh, trying to tap into the same generosity of of, of all of our business and this stuff. But uh, we've been very blessed that we've had a, um, a title sponsor, uh, which is AQMD, which is uh, the Air Coast uh, uh, Southern Quality. Air the Quality Air Management Company, and uh, they have been generous to be our title sponsors each year. And um, and then we beg for all the others. We have a lot of other sponsors. like So uh, talk about the event. Yeah. Uh, the event uh, that's upcoming, actually this month, August 24th, uh, it will be held at the Exposition Park Rose Garden. You have never seen anything so beautiful as to see our, what we tag as Garden Soiree White Linen Affair. <laughs> and what that means is that everybody wears white. The yes. attire for the event is white. And it's at the uh, Rose Garden where there's over 200,000 species of roses, roses. Uh, wow. that sit in the garden. And with this white uh, event with the umbrellas and we walk on white carpet and we have an amazing uh, group of people that help put us put that together. It's wonderful. And um, we have, uh, if you go to our website again, www.regalettes, R-E-G-A-L-E-T-T-E-S dot org, uh, you can purchase tickets uh, to the event. Every ticket that you purchase is, not, we're a nonprofit organization, so it is tax deductible. We're a 5013C, and you can pay right online with PayPal. And I hope you will join us, and we will be giving out the scholarships that day also. When did you say it was again? So, August the 24th. It starts at 4 p.m. That's a Saturday. It's 4 to 9. Uh, on Saturday, August 24th. Okay, so here's what I'd like to do. I'd mm -hmm. like to give away stuff. This is mm -hmm. our first show. This is a party with a purpose. So we're going to give away a couple of things. Okay? The first thing we're going to give away, I was going to do this, but Lois just gave me <laughs> the authority to say we're going to give away two tickets to the Regalette's White Party, August 24th, 
the White Linen Affair wow. at Exposition Park. Yes. So now, here's Can what we're going to do. And, oh, no, because oh, you can't participate in this contest, Miss Diva. <laughs> um, but you but can in, order, come. in order for you to get these two tickets, you have to go to our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And you have to like, you have to do two things. It's a two-step process. You have to go to Facebook.com, Sisters at the Well Radio. First, like the page. Then you have to go to Regalettes.com, Regalettes Facebook page, and I don't want to mess that up. It's Facebook.com, Regalettes. Right. You have to like their page. So the first two people to do that will receive tickets for the white party. Yes. Doesn't that sound good? Yes, because these tickets are expensive. I know. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not. But Duan, I'm so sorry. You have to purchase your VIP oh, ticket. Oh golly. <laughs> Oh, you God, have to this... purchase that. You're sitting in the diva chair. Uh-huh. You have to act like a diva. Oh, can I scoot over? You have to... <laughs> wait, wait. You <laughs> have to <laughs> train. Listen, you have to I've pay to too. play. That's, That's what it's called. Play, right? it, but it's what, worth it. It is what, so One of the regalettes it. said <clears throat> it costs money to be a socialite. Yeah. It does. It does. <laughs> that was Absolutely. A, that was a regalette said that. So, I, you know what? We're having fun. But this is really all about the cause. Yes. And Sisters at the Well Radio, this conversation with women about women is about celebrating each other. Yes, it's yes. about the cause. Yes. So again, we're going to check on our Facebook page. We're going to see who liked us already. Uh-huh. We're going to take a little break here. And then I think we're going to come back and start to wrap up and go into the last segment of the show. How wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Tuning in to LA Talk Live, reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we're more than just talk. Stay tuned. Hands can do incredible things. This is the sound of 326 hands playing Mozart. This is the sound of 10,942 hands showing appreciation. 64 hands building a house for the homeless. 142 hands swimming a triathlon. 18 hands winning the big game. And this is the sound of two hands helping to save a life. It's called Hands Only CPR, and it's recommended by the American Heart Association. If an adult suddenly collapses, call 911 then push hard and fast in the center of their chest until help arrives. It's incredibly easy and effective. Hands can do incredible things, but nothing compares to using them to help save a life. Find out more about this latest method of CPR at handsonlycpr.org. A message from the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. Hi, this is John McClure Jr., a.k.a. Simply John. And I would like to invite you to join us on GospelRhythms.com every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our show, GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. Join us as we celebrate Christians around the world in all genres of entertainment, as well as highlight interest stories on men and women who are making a difference and impacting their community. So don't forget to tune in to GospelRhythms.com on LA Talk Live. And we're more than just talk. Remember, it's a heaven's party here on earth. So live life. Love God. It's a well radio, a conversation with women about women. And we have had the best 57 minutes. 
with my sisters, Linda Morgan, co-hosts, our jazz historian in the house. Thank you, Linda. Absolutely. I look so forward to it. Yeah? Okay. So tell me what you're looking forward to. Oh, I'm looking forward to hosting Sisters for Jazz. All right. Yes, Second ma'am. or third Sunday, huh? Yes, ma'am. Okay, right here. August the 11th, actually. Okay. Next uh, Sunday. And what do you have for us August 11th? We will have two wonderful jazz vocalists, Miss Loretta Shelby and Miss Rita Edmonds. Mm. And we will have our living legend, Miss Gilda Haygood. I love mm. it. We're going to have some live performances yeah. in here? Not this show, but the next one. Okay. So I'm working sure on I'm that. here. Yes. Okay. All right. And then Miss Dwan. Miss Dwan, our actress and the special diva in the house today. Yes, me. The one who has to buy the VIP tickets for the Regalette's White Linen <laughs> okay, Party. Here we go. It pays. I get the diva discount right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what she said, beg. Oh, yeah, so I'm just taking what Lois said. Beg, 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 beg. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, uh, to my... Um, opportunity to uh, host and co-host yeah. and as I said my overall theme is exploring crises which test our faith yeah. and so we will be talking about um, uh, as I said before how women of faith sustain a career in this youth oriented society and then we're also going to talk about how women of faith um, face the the glass ceiling and how you break through and okay. maintain your faith so that will be one of the shows that will be coming down the pike i'm also going to do a uh, grammy day grandmother's oh, yeah. day is coming up and every year i have what i call grammy camp g-r-a-m-m-i-e mm-hmm. grammy camp and i get my grandchildren and i take them for a week or seven days i clear my docket i do nothing but the grandchildren and I'm just coming off a of Grammy, Grammy camp, so that's why I'm looking a little wild. Because okay. I had them for seven days. We did everything that I could think of. So we'll talk about that situation. That's it's, coming up. That's um, coming up September, August, August. Or September. August, I think you said August. Okay. A salute to grandmothers is on September 8th. Okay, which is Grandparents, Grandparents Day. Grandparents okay. Day. Okay, so that'll so be timely. I'm excited about that. And I'm All also right. working on my, my one-woman show uh, because my husband... Um, as you know, your husband, Stan, was my husband's captain at the fire department. And We're husband... not talking about husbands today, though. Okay. Sorry. Well, anyways, no I'm just saying. No husbands today, just girls day. <laughs> anyway, as as this we person's your diva caregiver. Card. Uh, do me a favor. Can you grab her diva card? Yes. Yeah, we're going to take your This diva was card. supposed to be all girl talk today, and she could not. How many years y'all have been married? 32. You see? So it's nice. But it was about a diva thing because I'm doing my one woman show, which is no, called no, no. a caregiver show. You cannot clean <laughs> this up. <laughs> you cannot. We said girls talk and you said husband. Oh. Okay, so that's 30 plus years of marriage. Can't go one day. Day without. It's it. nice to still be in love, though, isn't I, it? It's yeah. a lovely thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell Stan, too. I didn't call his name. I did. I'm telling you. I was clear that this was Girls Day. Mm -hmm. So remember I said this was The View on radio. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They talk about fine. And then you got me looking at The View across the mic here, the engineer. Now Now this is. That just messed. This this is the second time she's just like. Well, I have to agree with her. See? Okay. We get ready. We get ready to have a breakdown. All right. Get ready to get on. (laughs) I'm so glad we only have two more minutes. (laughs) It's getting hot in here. (laughs) See, she took so, Miss Barbara's seat. She's Miss Barbara, not Barbara Walton. Miss Barbara Perkins. Yes, so she yes, got the hot seat yes. anyway. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just going to leave it alone. Yes. So, Lois, let us talk Love a little it. bit. Give us the date again on the Regalettes yes, White Party. Uh, the Regalettes White Party, we're a nonprofit organization. This is for student scholarships. August 24th, Saturday, 4 to 9 p.m., at the wonderful Los Angeles Exposition Park Rose Garden. And I also wanted to mention, because I didn't mention before, we also will be giving for the first time a crown award. Wow. And uh, our first two recipients, I am so, so happy about because I look at both of them as mentors and women that I admire and respect. And that is uh, Jan Perry. Oh, mm. that was formal councilwoman of Los Angeles City. Yeah. Uh, councilwoman uh, Jan Perry. She will be one of our honorees. And also Miss Bobby, Bobby Jean Anderson. Mm. Uh, no, well. So, yes. Community a lot of advocate. people. Yes. Yeah. Uh, very much a yeah. community advocate. 
they both will receive our very first crown award uh and i will tell you you will be missing something really special and you really need to come out and support our young people and support the things that they are doing uh they are so excited about this event it's a lot of hard work that goes into it and you won't regret it you will not regret this so two people will not be missing out because they're getting free tickets just right. by going to facebook.com, LA Talk Live, go to the Sisters at the Well page and like it. And then you got to go to the Regalettes website. Give that again, Lois. Uh, our website uh, is www.regalettes, R E G A L E T T E S dot org. And our Facebook page is facebook.com slash Regalettes. And if you go to that page and like it, you will get two tickets. So thank you, ladies. I really, really enjoyed having you here today. This conversation is rich. And I want to say thank you to our listening audience. Thank you for being here with us at our new home. We're so happy to be right here at L.A. Talk Live, where it's more than just talk. Yeah. And we are just looking forward to 2.40 every and Sunday thank you, Barbara. right here. Thank you, Barbara. And thank, thank my you sister, Chioma. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. Have a great afternoon. God bless. God bless. You are now tuned into LA Talk Live. We're more than just talk. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And hit the ground. We all here together on this spinning rock, trying to make some sense of this life we got. And I ain't met a man yet that got all the answers. And I ain't been nowhere yet where they not fighting cancer. I seen a good prison system that gives second chances. What's the hate for? What's the war for? Well, ask Wall Street. It's probably why they stock soar. I'm just a dreamer, you know, John Lennon. But what do I know? My head stays spinning. A world full of hunger where people can't make it. They say we ain't got it. Man versus food can waste it. I'm moving and I won't look back on I'ma get what's for me and get where I need to be. Won't let nothing get me off track, no. Yeah, it's a part of my story. No struggle, no glory. Hey, I was born, I was born. Two homes, but they try to fit in. I refuse to conform. Yes, life, but there's more. Let me show you this story. I struggle so far to cover up these scars. The devil is so real. I feel him at work. Feel him breathing. It's burning my shirt. Both at one time to give and to curse. But no, it's just way back to go on my mom's purse. Lessons I've learned. The heads that I've turned. It's not their concern. Watch as they burn. I rise to the top. None of us can stop. We own the whole block. The doors is under. Like well, all these jobs drop, they claim they saw cops, but we we saw nothing, so we don't stop. Cool as freeze pops, the cold is three knocks, the drugs in both stop. First I heard pop. Yeah. I'm moving and I won't look back. No. I'ma get what's for me and get where I need to be. Won't let nothing get me off track. No. Yeah. It's a part of my story. No struggle, no glory. Yes, it is 
something fantastic opportunity to give back to the people's children. Champion, they are stars in the making. Heroes of tomorrow, future rearranging. No holds barred, got life in a chokehold. Blasted through walls, leaping over all obstacles. Green like gold, negative to rear view. Matter of fact, thanks for letting me share rhythm with you. For the chance to experience something genuine. Full count, knife in a grand slam, the last pitch. Fireworks, crowd cheers, we all yell victory. Reflecting in the mirror says no one's better than me. That's the attitude that you must have. Any negativity, leave it in the past. Direction in front of you should always be perfection. Stay humble at all times and thankful for the blessings.
We know there are many choices in Internet radio, and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk.